Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Be sure to check out Mike's Vehicle Spotlight on Facebook today to keep informed on any upcoming videos and vehicles that I have in the near future. And remember, always wear your seatbelt. Enjoy the feature. Today's vehicle spotlight shines on the 2011 Ford F-150 Lariat. The F-Series full-size pickup truck debuted back in 1948 and is now in its 12th generation which made its debut for 2009. The front end includes these dual beam halogen headlamps. The huge front grille on Lariat models are chrome with silver mesh inserts. The front bumper is also chrome with some black body cladding towards the center. You will also find two towing hooks and two fog lamps as well. Today's F-150 is a Super Crew model which is 232.1 inches long and sits 78.4 inches tall. Our Lariat model is also featured in the red candy metallic exterior color. The F-150 features plenty of stylish features. The side profile features mostly straight body panels other than the flare around all of the wheel wells. The exterior mirrors are two-tone colored with reflectors on the back sides and are fully powered as well as heated, auto dimming and have turn signal markers plus integrated blind spot mirrors in the corner. The keyless entry number pad can be seen underneath the driver's door handle. The 4x4 decal can be seen on the rear of the cargo bed. Lariat models come standard with these 18-inch bright aluminum rims with four-wheel vented disc brakes with analog control sitting behind them. The rear tail lamps feature chrome trim and wrap around the corners. The rear bumper features black plastic cladding on the top 
while the bumper itself is done in chrome. You will also find your towing hitch and electrical hookups and a single exhaust port off to the right side. The interior of the Lariat models gives you plenty of comfort and luxury. The fully powered black perforated leather driver's seat is very comfortable. It also features contrasted leather stitching. The door trim is done up with the bright wood grain trim and a chrome door handle. All of your window, mirror and lock controls are placed simply on the armrest and you also have spacious door pockets and one of the 10 Sony stereo speakers. The dashboard also features more wood grain, as well as bright silver trim. The driver's position is overlooking. The driver sits in front of these new aluminescent gauges that features a 7,000 RPM tack, 120 mile per hour speedometer, and gauges for your oil pressure, coolant temperature, fuel level, and transmission fluid temperature as well. All of the gauges are wrapped around some chrome trim. In the center of the cluster is the new driver information center that features more than a handful of vehicle information. You can check on everything from your fuel usage to your current four-wheel drive and terrain status. This display will also give you any vehicle warnings and the odometer is always displayed. The steering wheel is wrapped in leather and features the controls for your driver information screen as well as your cruise, audio and Microsoft Sync systems. The automatic exterior lighting controls are off to the left of the steering wheel, while the controls for your four-wheel drive system sits off to the right. Underneath that is a small storage pocket. The center console controls are all organized very nicely.
At the top are your traction control override and emergency hazard controls. The touchscreen display allows you to access many different vehicle functions, everything from your audio controls to climate controls to the navigation controls and back to more vehicle settings. The display also gives you a clock and outside temperature readout. The stereo in this Lariat model is the AM, FM, CD and MP3 player powered by a 700 watt Sony stereo system. It also includes an in-dash 6 disc CD changer and a Sirius satellite radio equipped. Each row of controls are organized nicely by its own category. The top row features mostly the display controls as well as your CD slot, and the second row are for your stereo controls, and the third row are the automatic dual zone climate controls. The heated and cold seat feature comes standard on Lariat models. The navigation system includes Sirius's Travel and Traffic Link feature, which will give you information on road conditions, traffic updates, and even weather information. At the bottom of the center stack is a cigarette lighter and your auxiliary input jack and USB port for your digital media devices. Off to the right of the center stack is your 12 volt power outlet. The center console starts off with a big storage pocket. The shifter and the two cup holders are surrounded in chrome and the cup holder even features a removable ashtray. You will also find another storage pocket on the passenger side of the center console. The leather wrapped armrest opens up to a nice deep storage console that features a removable top tray. There is also another 12 volt power outlet located inside. The glove box is decently sized. The ceiling features sun visors with lighted vanity mirrors. The ceiling console also includes two map lamps, a place for a pair of glasses, your moonroof controls, and the powered rear window control. In the back of the Super Crew model, there is more than enough room for all passengers to enjoy the ride. The seats are just as comfortable as the front seats and there is plenty of leg room. The back of the center console includes two cup holders, two rear air vents, a 115 power outlet, and another 12 volt power outlet as well. 
The center seat back folds out to reveal an armrest with two more cup holders. The seats can even be folded upwards to give you a flat load floor for more interior cargo room. This is also how you can find the 700 watt Sony subwoofer. The cargo bed on Super Crew 4x4 models is a 5.5 foot box that gives you about 55.4 cubic feet of cargo room. And a great feature is the new integrated tailgate step system. You just pull out the step from the side of the tailgate and then lock the tailgate pole in an upright position and use it to hoist yourself into the bed of the truck. Under the hood is the new 5-liter Flex Fuel V8 that produces 360 horses and 380 pound-feet of torque. This engine makes an EPA estimated 15 miles per gallon in the city, about 21 miles per gallon on the highway, and about 17 miles per gallon combined. The V8 is connected to a 6-speed automatic transmission that features the Select Shift Manumatic Shifting System, which gives you the ability to easily shift the transmission using the two buttons on the shift lever. That concludes today's vehicle spotlight on the 2011 Ford F-150 Lariat. I'm Michael Adams, and I'll see you next time.